Your tool's motor uses two carbon brushes to conduct electricity to the armature. They do this through the commutator. The carbon brush will wear down over time from rubbing against the rotating commutator and will need to be replaced. Warm brushes can cause excessive sparks around the commutator. Sparks can also be caused by a damaged armature, so you'll want to carefully inspect both if sparks are present. Replacing the carbon brushes is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the fence, the blade guard, the blade insert, and the blade. I'll start with the fence. Now the guard. The blade insert is held in place with one screw. And now I can remove the blade. I'll use the wrench that came with the saw, and to lock the blade in place, I like to use a piece of scrap wood. I'll remove the blade nut and flange, and then I can remove the blade. I'll also release the riving knife and lower it down into the saw. Now I can rotate the saw over and place it on its top. Now I'll release the saw's bevel lock and bevel the motor up so I have better access. Now I have access to the brush caps. I'll go ahead and remove the first cap. And I can remove the brush. To install the new brush, I align it with the brush holder and insert it. As I insert it into the holder, I need to make sure that I line up the ears with the holder. I'll hold it in place as I reinstall the cap. And I'll resecure the cap with a screwdriver. I want to be careful to not over tighten the cap or I can crack it. And I'll repeat this on the other brush. And now I'll finish up by tipping the saw back over and reinstalling the blade, guard, and fence.
and that's how easy it is to install a new set of brushes in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.